Hi, it's math time with Mrs. Depper Schmidt. Today we're going to revisit bar modeling and explain how we can use bar modeling as a simple way to help us understand what's going on in a division problem. Hopefully you can remember that a bar model might look like this especially in a situation where we're talking about money, the whole amount of money involved in this situation is $2,890, where $150 is one part of that total, and the other part of the total is represented here by the question mark. The bar model shows us that to find out the correct number for the question mark, we would need to subtract 150 from 2,890. We've um, done a lot of practicing with bar models and this should look quite familiar to you. As we move on, I would like to say that later in the video I have an inter a, a joke for you that was submitted by someone in the class. So we'll move on with more bar, bar modeling and talk about using a bar model for division gets a little bit complicated, but I think you'll really enjoy it once we talk about it a little bit. This is a bar model showing that there's an amount of money involved which is shared between Mrs. B and Mrs. M. The bars in this situation represent the same amount. Mrs. M's amount of money is exactly one part of what Mrs. B's amount is, and then Mrs. B has two of these equal parts. From now on, whenever you see a bar in bar modeling, that single bar is going to be the same part in every problem. It might be 20 of something, whatever the unit in the problem is. It might be 100. It might be 20,000. You'll need to use the context of the problem to understand how to use the units in the bar modeling. For this example, we know that Mrs. M's amount plus Mrs. B's amount all together is $2,208. To figure out each little section, we'll need to divide the 2,208 into some equal parts. It's probably easy for you to see that when we count each bar, we have one, two, three bars that are all the same amount. So to calculate and work on this problem to solve it, you would divide 2,000 208 first into three parts. Give two of those parts to Mrs. B and then give one part to Mrs. M and you'll know the amount that each person in the story has. All right, I'll tell the joke now and then after the last problem I'll tell you the answer to the joke. The question is which animal can you never trust? Think about that while we show one more bar modeling problem for division. In this problem, we've got Lori and Mark. We don't know how many Lori has of the 4,820, but we know that Mark has that amount three equal times. These bars represent equal parts. Just remember that when we're using bar models for division. Well, if we count all the parts involved here, we can see there are three that belong to Mark and one belonging to Lori. That makes four parts all together. So to find out how much one part would be, we need to divide 4,820 by four. Then we would know exactly how much Lori has and then we would know that Mark has that much three times. Bar modeling is really helpful when we're um, solving division problems and it sure helps to draw a graphic illustration. It makes the problem easier to understand. I really appreciate your concentration in bar modeling and division. You guys are really getting smart as fast as you possibly can. That's amazing. And now here's the answer to our joke. What animal?
animal can you never trust? Did you guess? It's a lion. I thought that was a great joke. So thank you, whoever put that in my mail basket at school. You guys are working hard. And please remember, I will absolutely see you at school. And remember to please be kind.